my thoughts are a little bit more random than what Linda did. Uh, first of all, as Linda said, I really appreciate everyone being here today. Unfortunately, as families grow and spread out throughout the country, we see less and less of our families and friends as we get older. Uh, quite frankly, some of these things, both I, my cousins and nieces and nephews, haven't seen since before we passed away. Shame on me for not coming out more often. And uh, we used to come out pretty regularly with both family and friends. Uh, I'd like to come out and fish with uh, Jim, Jim Markey for years. I'm sure some of you remember Jim. And uh, we bring family out and we bring friends out and visit. And there was always, always a jam session at the house. Doesn't matter what was going on, they made sure there was a jam session at the house. I know the backs would be there playing. And, uh, it was always a good evening as far as that's concerned. Um, I don't know how many of you know this, but Mom was not a cook. Trust me, she was not a cook. Fortunately, Wayne knew how to cook and kept everybody fed, but it was not much. She did two things. She made great french fries, and she made a banana cake that was out of this world. Um, Linda mentioned she loved her animals. Dogs, cats, horses, alligators. One of those alligators actually lived to be about 15 or 20 years old. Uh, we used to keep it at the, uh, the Steels location in Lima. And when I was a kid growing up, they used to have it up front. And then it got too big and it was nasty and mean. It, just, it, it, was, it outgrew cages. So they put it back in one of the aisles. When I first started working there as a kid, about 14 years old, I'd forget the thing was there. And I'd be working away, and all of a sudden, this thing would roar. It just, you know, you'd go right straight up to the road. <laughs> and eventually, we donated it to Toledo Zoo. So I don't know whatever happened to it after that. Uh, some of you may know that she liked to play cards. Uh, Kanasta was her favorite game. But Jesse, my daughter, came out here from high school, eight, something like that and spent a week and taught her how to play hand and foot. And she really enjoyed that, and whenever she would come back to line back to that, we had uh, four of us around, and you didn't take much to talk through the game of hand and foot, and she always enjoyed that. When Angie was first born, I don't believe Mom was real thrilled about the idea of being called Belle, <laughs> because it meant she was getting old in her mind. But as more grandchildren came along, great-grandchildren came along. I think she used to relish the idea of being a grandmother and thoroughly enjoyed that title, you know, in her later years. Um, in case you didn't know it, she was a talker. She talked your ear off. And we would be having dinner someplace, and everybody else would be done. And you look at Mom, and she's still got three-fourths of her food on the plate because she was so busy talking. She didn't have time to eat, and therefore a doggy bag was always appropriate when we went out for dinner with mom. Um, her smile was a classic. She would light up her room with her smile. When you, she walked into her room, if she didn't know you when she walked in, trust me, when she left, she knew you and she and you were her friend. She was a, a very friendly, outgoing individual. I've got a couple of granddaughters that are along that same line. Um, and Linda said she loved her country music. Um, I don't have anything on my radio but country music, and I suppose that comes from mom. My wife uh, tends to override me sometimes on all the country music, and she listens to other things. <coughs> but uh, uh, for me, country music is all part of my growing up and, and part of mom. Um, I think that about covers it. Uh, as I say, I, I really appreciate everybody coming today. Uh, if you look at some of those pictures, I actually had black hair at one point. And I actually had a lot of hair at one point. And I think my granddaughters are concerned as the hair grows grayer and grayer and the hairline receives that they're going to be looking at a comb over on their grandfather. But I'm sure that's not really uh, again, thank everybody today for coming. We appreciate it very much.